normal iPod, normal calculator app, everything looks pretty normal. Except that I can do this. Locking the home button and locking notifications. And also on a side note, get it, side note, sound effects are now in landscape. How do I do this? Well, let's find out. So uh, first thing is let's exit out of this. Takes it out. That's pretty much it. And let's figure out how to do this. So what you're going to need is GarageBand. If you do not have GarageBand, then you probably can't do this. I say probably because I have no idea because I don't have the rest of the iPods. Now, what you're going to want to do now is go into GarageBand and quickly exit out. There. Quickly exit out. And then you're going to want to delete the GarageBand app from your multitasking. Don't actually delete the app because then that ruins the whole thing and then you got to wait all the time. Anyways, uh, calculator app. You're going to want to do that. And I just messed up because I took too long. Okay, let me try this again real quick. And uh, so you're going to want to go GarageBand, exit out, double click, uh, go to your calculator app or any other app with an iPod bar on top. Uh, then you're going to want to, no, don't mess up, click, and I messed up again. Okay, let's try this again. I'm sorry that it's taking a while and taking a really long time, but you know, it's a glitch. So there's going to be glitches in this video to show you a glitch. Uh, click on GarageBand, exit out, quickly go to your delete GarageBand, quickly go into your calculator app, click and double click. So click the red bar and double click. And now, wait. As you're waiting, this is just going to confuse the iPod into doing something. I don't know how it works, but I think it's going to think that this is GarageBand while using the calculated functions. So, um, example, that sound effects app. Told it? I don't know. It's just weird. It's a really weird glitch. Now, if you do the double tasking, GarageBand comes back to life for some reason. You want to get rid of that. You get rid of that. But now, if you're doing this, you can use your app while you do this. And this only works with apps that are on the iPod bar. So you see this is the iPod bar as I like to call it. I don't know what it's really called, but you know, it doesn't really matter at this point. So basically, now that you've done that, you there's no way to go into your notification, your notification center, and there's no way to get out of it except for these three ways. Now, if you have all your apps deleted, yes. Actually, there's four ways. Four ways to do this. Number one, is if you have an app here, you can just click on it and you go to the app and then you release the home button. The next way is to go to the music app. But not a lot of people know about that, so you're good. Uh, third way is to use voice control, but no one uses voice control, so that doesn't work either. Good job. Or Siri. I don't know if Siri works. It probably does, but I'm not sure. Anyways, um, going to do now is take it. Do, do. That's the last way is to turn it off or lock the screen, unlock the screen, and go to the home menu. Now by doing this, those are the three ways, four ways if you use apps, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so that's the way to glitch the iPod to lock the home screen. And just to be sure, for those people that don't believe that this is a regular iPod, Let's go to about, and right there, look, 5.1.1. Oh, wait, my finger's covering. 5.1.1. There you go. Enough proof for you. If not, I can't help you. So anyways, uh, yeah, try this yourself. Try it on an iPad or iPhone. It might work. I'm pretty sure it could work on those. Now, if you have the original iPhone or, you know, anything that's not fourth gen generation, I guess, it's probably not going to work. But if it does, good for you. Good for you. Um, yeah, it might work on jailbroken. I have no idea. What are the uses for this? Well, let's say you're a parent and you want your kids to stay on the calculator app instead of going off into other apps. Uh, basically, yeah, you can just use this, do the glitches I showed you. They can't get out of the calculator app unless they follow the steps that I've shown and if they watch this video. Uh, your friend, say, hey, you can use my uh, iPod, go in the settings app. All they can do is go in the settings, but you probably don't want to do that. So they, all they can do is probably go into the calculator app. And, um, yeah, there's just pretty much a lot of uses for this that I just don't know. So, yeah, that's pretty much the whole iPod home glitch thing. I hope people see this and try this themselves, see if it works on iPhones, see if it's just my iPod that does this. 
Um, yeah, but this is the iPod Touch glitch, and this is revolutionized the game, saying, I glitched an iPod.